the OnePlus 12 is a beast of a phone, but it will be forgotten in the US and it will not sell. And here is why. They do not have a carrier relationship in the US. I know you can just go on Amazon or Best Buy or even their own website to order this phone. You can even do down payment plans on it. But that's not the way Americans are wired and they're not going to suddenly change the way that they shop. iPhone users don't even want to download West app. Instead, they rather just complain about the green bubbles. And that's just the way we Americans are. We're lazy. We like to stick with the default and the status quo. And just subconsciously, we've been trained to buy cell phones a particular way for so many years. Every two years when our contract expires, that is the standard model. We go to the carrier, we pick the next phone we want, wait another two years and get a new phone. And the sales rep have an incentive to sell you certain phones, they get commissions and things like that. These days, with phones being more expensive, carriers have been trying to lock you in longer for three to four years instead and may even give you the phone for free and you're just paying for the plan. But just because the fact that you're locked in with them, it gives them recurring revenue. And that is how the carrier are incentivized to sell you phones. So I think OnePlus not having any of the carriers relationship in the US is a really big mistake. They have been working with T-Mobile for the last few years, but now it doesn't look like they're working with anybody. They're just gonna go solo with the OnePlus 12. And I am personally disappointed by it. I currently have the jump on demand plan with T-Mobile, which allows me to switch to phones every 30 days. This is how I'm able to do all my review channels, switch to a lot of different phones, try different devices. As long as they're below $800, this month I could be using the Galaxy S24. Next month, I can jump to the Pixel 8. The month out of that, I can jump to the iPhone 15. So I have a lot of different options, and unfortunately, with OnePlus 12 not being part of the carrier relationship, I cannot just change my phone in and then use the OnePlus 12. Instead, I have to go on Amazon and get it unlocked. Once I finish using it, I have to figure out what I want to do with it. I have to sell it and go buy another phone. I thought that in theory is probably the more economical route and cheaper route if you can find the best way to do it. A lot of people on Lazy, they just rather stick with the default method, just go to their mobile carrier to get new phones. And I think OnePlus is going to see that they will be missing out a lot of sales in the US despite the OnePlus 12 being such a great phone. And the OnePlus Open as well. A lot of customers, they like to go into the stores, at t Verizon, T-Mobile, they play with the phones, and then they decide if they want it or not. Unfortunately, I guess you can still do that at Best Buy, but that's the only place. But Best Buy, they sell so many things. They're not there specifically just to buy a phone. They have a washing machine, they got toys, video games, and everything like that. Versus a carrier phone store they walk in the store and they're either trying to buy the phone or doing something related with the phone it's very specific and then if they see the oneplus 12 there it can definitely catch the attention so i think it's a really big loss opportunity for oneplus not building on the carrier relationship in the u.s just want to give a quick shout out to my partner mint mobile currently they offer a 5g plan for as low as 15 dollars a month you get unlimited internet chat and also phone calls this offer is only good until January, so make sure to check them out. Link in the description below. You do have to buy three months up front. I still think it is a great deal. Just on paper, the OnePlus 12 is such a beast, and I think it is a great value at $800. This is the same price as the base Galaxy S24 model, but you get them higher storage, 256 gigabyte compared to the 128 for Samsung's base model. And all of the specs of the OnePlus 12, they are competing against Samsung's Ultra Phone which costs $1,300. So you are saving $500 going for the OnePlus 12 instead of going for Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And it does a lot of things better than the Ultra as well. For example, 4,500 nits peak brightness is unheard of. Over the last few years, all these smartphones has been under 2,000 nits. And then all of a sudden in 2023, all the manufacturers started going crazy, 2,000 nits, 2,600 nits, 3,000, and now apparently 4,500 for OnePlus, which is about double what the Ultra has to offer at 2,600. And they still have the fast charger included, not to mention it is more than double the speed of what Samsung has to offer. Even the wireless charging capabilities on OnePlus is higher than the wired charging from the Galaxy S23 Ultra, so let that sink in for a second. And though the caveat is you do have to buy the wireless charger. I wish that OnePlus does include the wireless charger for the one time, 
But I guess if I have a 100 watt fast charging, I can just plug it in if I need to get that quick boost in speed. If not, I'll just stick with my cha my standard Qi wireless charging that goes up to 15 watt. Not the end of the world. If I'm just working from home, sitting in my desk. I can just leave the phone there all day. But I think OnePlus 12 got a lot of good things going for them. And it's even slightly bigger than the Galaxy S24 Ultra, 6.82 versus 6.8 inches. You're not going to be able to tell the difference, but either way, you're getting a gigantic phone for a $800 price. In addition to that, you're having a bit of battery as well, 5400 milliamp compared to 5000 on Samsung. And there's so much value with the OnePlus 12. So I think it's a lost opportunity for them not to build on the carry relationship, have the relationship with the carrier that allows customers to kind of walk in, buy phones the way that they used to in the U.S. But we shall see. I personally think OnePlus 12 is not going to do well in the U.S. Maybe OnePlus 13 or other phones down the line, they might build on the carrier relationship. But for now, looks like OnePlus is going the uh, different direction. And really disappointed by that. Either way, I'm going to be testing out the Galaxy S24 as soon as when I get it. And then once I'm done with that, I might try the OnePlus 12 or I might want to try the S24 Ultra TBD. For the time being, I am recording this video on the Galaxy S23 FE. Pretty happy with it. I'm also been testing out these Meta Ray-Ban Smart Glasses. I've been I'm having a lot of fun using them. And I've been incorporating them in my daily videos. I'm going to do that with my S24 series. So... Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover with the Galaxy S24, the OnePlus 12. And please check out my last videos on my Ray-Ban meta day in the life videos and also the unboxing videos. Also check out my Galaxy S23 FE review if you haven't already. I appreciate the time as always and see you guys in the next video.